Awesome, guys. Excellent clapping. I'd love to hear that again. That's how much I loved it. Show me your claps. I, I have a terrible wishes to make. I've, I've actually been getting on Tinder as well. <laughs> it was, was fair, isn't it? <laughs> but, so, yeah, I, I don't know if the immigration department knows this, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages from uh, American guys, and uh, I don't know if they know it, but um, a lot of these guys are getting in the back door. <laughs> And the back door is mine. <laughs> probably explains the next story I'm going to do. Um, I, you know, like I like to do a lot of uh, erotic fan fiction, and um, I, um, I, you know, I'm trying to get it up on the internet. Um, but a lot of these sites are very uh, picky. They they don't like be um, bestiality. Um, Pederasty, bestiality, or necrophilia, and uh, mine pretty much have the whole lot. <laughs> yeah, so I put them in these um, plastic folders, and um, that way you can, you know, wipe the jizz off with a cloth. Very hygienic. This, yeah, well, this one's. This one's a, this one's um, yeah, it's um, it's um, seafood related. <laughs> In the pool with the octopus, I felt sensuous and free. The cool, slimy waters flow around my naked body, and my toes dig into the muck that lies at the bottom of the pool. I think if this wasn't so revolting. It was so sexy. It would be seriously gross. Somewhere in the pool, the octopus lurks. I went to see it break the surface of the pool. He's got a really big head. Grey and bulbous. He's not that look good, good looking as a lover, but at least he doesn't try and control my life. <laughs> <laughs> the octopus moves in closer, wrapping his arms around me in a sinuous dance and probing me in the most improper places. <laughs> it's like a great beast is trying to find out what kind of creature I am, if it likes me, and if it wants to fuck. <laughs> excites me. You never know what, what he might do. Because I always think of it as a him. The octopus is a wild card. A being with eight ginormous dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine the feeling of, of his tentacle coursing through your body. The wild flip-flopping, the, the hungry thing folding through your lower bowel. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's anatomically possible. <laughs> yeah, but I orgasm them sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, the octopus member, which has found its way crafting into my bottom, has worked its way the length of my digestive canal. <laughs> that's when you start to gag. That is not the best bit. <laughs> The problem with tentacles is the tip feels a lot like a like a, a tip, um, like a, a finger, and the midsection feels a lot like an arm. It might feel good when the pinky goes up your bum, but by the time the arm reaches your neck, it doesn't feel so good. The tightening as it reaches those last few inches. Of before penetrating your esophagus with one final thrust. <laughs> it's pretty scary. But not as scary as the tongue. That suckered sensor protruding from your mouth, circling wildly as the 
when all this grey enormity in front of your eyes, it's the worst bit. If they're watching it in front of your eyes, you want to shout help, but your voice is cut off from total lack of air. And the, the, and the, the backward feeling is pretty weird too. All that octopus meat churning through your entrails really turns me on actually. It flips and flops my whole body in some kind of orgasmic jerk. Faster and faster, the arm goes until the, the giant thing member pops out of your ass. Like an enormous butt plug. That's pretty good actually. Okay. Oh, don't do that at home, children. Oh, I was super, so that was that was one of those stories anyway. <laughs> <laughs>